Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Hannah here. Today I am going to read you a story. I'm going to read you The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I have my little board up here because I have some fun interactive pieces to go along with the book. So here he is. All right. So this is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. He is the author. Okay. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the egg? It's, oh, you're right, it's right here. It's on the leaf. Very good. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Do you see him? Very hungry. Here's our caterpillar. Let's put him on our board. Our very hungry caterpillar. Oh no, my board's falling over. Okay, let's hope this stays up. Okay. <laughs> he started to look for some food. Hmm, I wonder what food he's gonna eat. Oh no, my board. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. He ate through one apple. Do you see the apple? It is red. So we want our caterpillar to eat through one apple. I'll place it up here. Well, we'll take him off. He's gonna stay down here. So we want one apple. Okay. I wonder what's gonna happen next. <gasps> On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Two pears. <gasps> one, two. I have two green pears. Oh no. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Three plums. Have you ever tried a plum before? One. Two, three, three plums. One, two, three. How many things has he ate so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, but he's still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Let's see if I have my four strawberries. One, two, three, four. Four strawberries. I'm going to put them under the apple. Did you realize that an apple, pears, plums, and strawberries, they're all fruit. They're all different types of fruit. They're all in the same category. Okay. Whew. There's no way he's going to eat more. He's got to be full. <gasps> On Friday, he ate through 
five oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh my goodness. Five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. How is he still hungry? This is so much fruit. How much fruit do you see now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He ate 15 pieces of fruit so far. How is he still hungry? I wonder what he'll eat next. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Look at all these foods, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. That night, he had a stomach ache. He had a tummy ache. Look at him. He feels sad and sick, probably because he ate too much food. He ate so much food. Look, I have a picture of all the food he ate. You see there? There's some dessert. There's some cheeses, which are dairy. There's meat. He ate all sorts of stuff. All right, I'm going to put it down here. This is all the food he ate. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, see him look, he looks like his tummy hurts. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. So he ate through one green leaf. Let's see if I have a leaf. Where do you find leaves? On trees, that's right. So he ate through one green leaf. I'm gonna put it down there. These are all the things he ate. Do you think his tummy's feeling pretty full? I'd like to think so too. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore either. He was a big fat caterpillar. Look how big he is. All right, I'm gonna take the food off the board because we're, we're gonna do something different. So look, he started off looking like this. He was small, maybe a little long and skinny. And then he ate all of the food, so much food. And now he is big and fat. You see him before, after. He is so big. So we're gonna put the small little guy, and then he's now he's a big little guy. Now he's really big. Okay, what do you think is gonna happen next? <gasps> what is that? He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. <gasps> I see the cocoon. Look, so he made like a little home for himself. A little, it's called a cocoon. So he wrapped himself inside for two weeks. So now he looks like this. So he went from a, cat, a little skinny caterpillar that he ate all the food and he was the big caterpillar. Now he's in a cocoon and now what's gonna happen? Let's see. And he was a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> the end. He became a beautiful butterfly. Wow. What a great book. See, boys and girls? He started here. He was little and small. He ate all his food. And then he became big. Then he went in his cocoon for two weeks. 
Then he came out and he was a beautiful butterfly. Great job. Are caterpillars and butterflies the same or, or kind of different? They are different, but it's important to remember caterpillars start off like this. Like caterpillar starts and then it can become a butterfly. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna make a different video, okay? And it's gonna be about sorting into different categories that we heard in the book. So check it out. All right, see you soon. Thanks for reading along with me.